Hey friends, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss that how we can analyze our data in multiple ways using Pivot Table. Here we have sample data that belongs to customers and sales invoices. Here we have customer names. Here we have invoice numbers, invoice date, due date of these invoices, our due days, our due status of these invoices and here invoice amount. Let's say we want to analyze this data and we want to get these six results or outputs for example from analysis of this data. So to analyze this data we will use pivot table. To use pivot table or to insert pivot table we will go to insert tab. In insert tab we will click on this option pivot table. When we will click on this option pivot table it will select the whole data. After this we will click on ok because we want to insert pivot table in new sheet so selection is already on new sheet. So we will click on ok. After we click on ok it will insert a new tab or new sheet where we can insert pivot table. So let's see what is the first requirement. The first requirement is how many invoices for each customer. I think we should just copy and paste our requirement in this sheet where we want to insert pivot table so that we don't go again and again to this sheet. So I will insert here some more rows. So I will just copy these requirements and I will just paste these here. So we have here requirements in this sheet. So now the first requirement is how many invoices for each customer. As we want to know how many invoices for each customer. So for customer we will just pick this customer and we will drop in rows field. And here we have all the customers to whom we have made sales. And how many invoices for each customer we want to know number of invoices. So we will just pick this invoice number and we will drop in values section. And here we have number of invoices for each customer. For Al Ihsan 18, for American Motors 24, 18, 24, 18, 18 and so on. So this is the first requirement. How many invoices for each customer? The second requirement, how much total sale to each customer? So we want to know how much total sales we made to each customer. Meaning we want to know amount that we made sales to each customer. So we will just remove this. We will pick and drop it back. And as we want to know total amount for each customer, we will just pick the amount and we will drop in values. And here we go. This is the total sales that we made to each of these customer. This is second requirement. So now the third requirement. Third requirement is invoices overdue status for each customer. So we want to know what is our due status of invoices. So this is our due status. So we will use this field. We will go again back to this sheet in which we have inserted pivot table. So we will just pick this our due status field status. We will drop in columns and here we go. So this is our due status of invoices for each of the customer. We will just arrange a little bit. So this is status. These invoices are not due. These invoices are 1 to 30 days old, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, above 90 days. So this is the result of third requirement. So fourth requirement or fourth output that we want to get from this data. How many invoices in 2020 and how many in 2021? So how we want to know how many invoices we issued in 2020 and how many invoices we issued in 2021. So here are the dates. So meaning we will use this field. So we'll just pick all the fields and we will just drop back. And now as we want to know how many invoices we issued in 2020 and how many in 2021. So we will just pick years from here and we will drop in rows field. And again as we want to know number of invoices we will just pick invoices and we will drop in values section. So here you can see 118 invoices we issued in 2020 and only two invoices we issued in 2021. So the fifth requirement total sales in 2020 and total sales in 2021. So we want to know how many sales we made in 2020 and how many sales we made in 2021. So as we want to know amount we will just pick it and drop it back and we will just pick amount and we will drop in values this section. 332,523 sales we made in 2020 and 5,795 sales we made in 2021. Next and last requirement total sales to each customer in 2020 and 2021. So we want to know sales to each customer by year. We already have here sales to each customer 
we will pick and drop here to each customer by year so in 2020 we sale to these customer this amount and in 2021 we made sale to only these two customers with this amount so these are the six requirements so friends these six cases that we have discussed in this tutorial these are just an example that how much information you can extract from your data just by using pivot table or in how much detail you can analyze your data by use of pivot table if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to press bell icon button don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye